Well, hello there. Welcome back to my channel. It is, of course, Chelsea of She Designs Things. And in today's quick video, I'm going to be showing you some new things I've just discovered while using Google Forms. So, of course, if you'd like to know more, then stay tuned. All right. So last night I was actually uh, playing around with creating this website content sort of form in Google Forms. And as soon as I opened Google Forms, I was greeted with a notification that you are now able to make changes to your fonts uh, and really change kind of what your form will look like. So awesome time to be me right now, just to say. <laughs> um, let's just take a look. So I did change the font to a font that I use, which is um, a, a Google font that I like to use called Bell Ulta. And actually, if you click on the color palette, you'll be you'll be able to change the text style of well, all the text you'd use pretty much. So your header, your question, and then of course your text. Now your header is at 24 and then 18 and then 12. Now, if of course you can't go any higher than 12 for the text or 18. Um, and I suppose this is so that, you know, you don't mess it up. <laughs> uh, so you don't really mess up the way your forms look. So. I decided I was going to try to give it, you know, a little bit of a try, see how it changes the way forms look. The only caveat I'd say right now is there's no transparent background, <laughs> not for the cards just yet. And I would prefer uh, a transparent background for the cards or the ability to create these card styles and actually allow them to show inside of your Google site. But presently, wait a second. I don't think I've ever tried it. Let's see if that, let's see if we can do it actually. Hold up. All right, so I opened up my fake wellness brand assessment. <laughs> this is what I use for um, my Google link in bio tutorial. And so I kind of just kept it here obviously because it's still up for you to check out. And I'll leave a card if you missed that video somewhere across the top. Uh, but let's add some sections because in order to display, yeah, change your presentation style, you have to have sections. So let's add a section over here. Not like that, a section. All right, so um, we'll say, how's the weather? Great. Hot. And then for hot, I'm going to do an emoji actually. Um. <laughs> That's cute. Oh yes, you do have the ability to add emojis into pretty much everything if you didn't know. <laughs> so if you are considering trying to add something, I do have another video. Um, I'm not sure if this video will be up before that one, so we'll just have to see. Uh, but yeah, you're able to add emojis into your text on Google. So we'll do that. And then let's name this section uh, brand. And then let's add another section here. I'm going to add a section right here section. And I'm actually going to take this and i'm gonna add a question to it and this question is going to say hello friend and then what you would expect from a friend my friends anyway what's up oh my god it's like a friend assessment how's it going i don't know how's it going how's it going <laughs> Uh, so something simple like that. We'll just, we'll just do that. And now let's change the presentation settings. So I'm going to go to settings and then I'm going to, uh, not make it a quiz, but change the presentation, 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 <laughs> uh, style. And we'll keep that and we'll keep the progress bar. I should say, 
we'll keep the order exactly as it is we'll display this thank you for trying out this wellness blah 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 and then you can show the link to submit another form but we won't do it that way and then of course defaults da, da, da. let's go ahead and view it now so we do have the one pager look up momentarily so let's fix that all right so i just had to move some of the cards down just so i can make it a little bit smaller so this will work and now let's let me double check i didn't change any additional settings that i might need we don't need to collect nothing um yeah we'll, we'll let's get rid of the okay so now only thing i want to do is it auto saves i'm just going to go over to the google site and see if i can actually uh, add that card style to my contact page all right so i just went on ahead and added it to my site one that i'm working on and it does show the cards um even in the mobile sizing so the only thing is if you hit next obviously it's going to cut it off so then you do have to scroll within it but at least it's not that weird bar situation that that's usually happening and if you actually put more sections then you can have more of the card style instead of the single page layout as you can see here all right so i do hope this video was helpful uh it's just an update on something that i noticed as usual <laughs> um so make sure that if you like these kinds of videos when i show like something that i find or something that's new uh then make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel and of course it's been a long day so <laughs> laters